the brand new Blackumancer just has been arrived at the Fence Derby and in this video I will tell you how you can unlock that unit for free as well as 4 insane emotes and a ton of other resources which will help in your further progress. And with that said, thank you everybody for being here again, really appreciate it. If someone else is newer, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for free to my channel. Here we are back at Defense Derby and if we check out our emotes there, we can already see the 4 emotes which we can unlock. I have unlocked two so far. Come on, they are pretty cool. As well as... They are so funny, that Blackie Man, sir. And the tired one. So two unlocked, and I will show you now how to do so. To unlock the first emote, it's pretty easy. Get over to the event section, and you will see there already the mirror match. Like you stalks the land. The event will be available from the 1st of September until the 14th, 2359 UTC. Get the new unit in mirror match. Win the first place and get the Plecumancer emote. So that should be pretty easy to do and I have done it already. There is the deck list. Pretty easy. We got only one hero and eight units so we can't select anything. And you have to win with that deck to get that emote. And you can for sure count on the new unit as it is pretty strong. All the units are on level 50. And you have to play just a normal derby match against three other guys using the same deck. The second emote is even easier to get right there at the daily chicken. Click the left hand side calendar and you will see it there. And on day three you are getting that emote. Furthermore you can get their 500 gems which should bring you forward a little bit. As well as the black humancer itself. So very nice you can unlock it there on the rare rarity. After logging in seven days successfully and you have a lot of days left to do so. The two remaining ones can be obtained at an event, so click that little gift there on the top left side and you will be at the event section. First event is the shop event where you can redeem the two missing pieces. That's the first one and for sure the second one. You can purchase them with eternal feathers and you can collect up to 900 for free. And they cost each 100 so still 700 left to spend at the other rewards. And you can here get again the rare Black Humanza just by spending 300 of the Eternal Feathers. If you don't want to go for the emotes, want to go for the progress, you can even get that one three times, which means you can instant upgrade it to level 4. After unlocking the emotes, we can still get further things for free. Right next to the shop event, there is the Lucky Summon event, the Lucky Draw. Ooh, use the doubloons you collect from derby matches to earn the Black Humanza unit card and other rewards. And the other rewards are insane. Tons of elixir, gold, cubics and for sure we got as the main reward here the rare Black Humanza. And you will have enough time to collect enough of the doubloons and unlock the center unit. Even without the luck the odd would be 1% but you should be able to get all the rewards during that one week event period. After looking at free events, we can also look at the shop. You for sure can straight purchase the new unit. I don't want to spend some money to get that unit as I will keep it as easy as possible and only go for the season pass right now. Right under it, there is the featured summon Plecumancer. That is a nice event and you can spend your hard earned gems right there. For 2000 gems you're getting 11 cards with a chance of 3.6% to get a legendary one. The legendary cards are again guaranteed. The same as, as the normal summon. And there's another special thing. If you did not get the Blackumancer within three legendary pulls, the fourth one will be a guaranteed Blackumancer. There's one thing which is even better. The remaining number summons required to guarantee a Blackumancer, such as the number of legendary summons, will be carried over to the next featured summon. Ooh, that would be nice, especially for me as I'm playing mainly a human deck. Next unit they teased us will be a human. And that means if there is a featured summon, I could get there a 5 star human unit pretty easy. I'm not sure if I should wait for it. What do you think? Should I wait for the human faction? Please write it down below in the comment section or if I should go for sure for the black human. Sir. Besides that, for sure you can also go for the cubic summon and the gem summon as they are the standard odds for the different rarities. And there you have the chance to unlock the brand new card as well. If you want to go it the safe way, there is still the season pass. September season called swamp and as the main reward even for free you can get that black humancer again so you don't have to spend any single penny and at the end of the season if you completed all those steps you will be able to get the black humancer right from that that is very nice so we're getting tons of black humancer during this month's season and i hope you already got it please write down below in the comment section if you already could 
Doc T, brand new Black Humancer. And what do you think of this unit? Is it a good one? Is it a bad one? Or is it a mid one? I think personally it is a very useful one, especially with a full deck on the field and some speedy units. As soon as I unlock this unit, I will for sure make a guide on it and raid this card. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and we will see us again very, very soon. A big thanks for watching today's video. If you want to see the latest new state video, then check out the video there at the bottom. If you want to see more new state content, check out the full playlist there at the top. And if you don't want to miss anything else in the future, then just subscribe by clicking this button.